Hey, what's going on guys? Today I'm going to be showing you my favorite deck. It's a deck that I've been using for a long time. Uh, it's kind of stuck with me like since, not, not necessarily the beginning of the game, but close to there. Uh, it helped me get to Legendary Arena and then it's also helped me push to above 4,000 trophies. Uh, it actually helped me get to my personal best, which was 4,000, almost 4,700, which is pretty good. I got that as a level 10 too. That's pretty tough. Uh, I'll just quickly open these chests and then I'll show you guys uh, what the deck is. Alright. So th anyways, this is the deck. It's a bit of a variation of a swarm type deck. You have the skeleton army, the goblin barrel, and the minion horde to bait uh, zap or fireball or arrows. And then also the three musketeers. Uh, that's for dealing like that's for uh, dealing with the big units. Like it's really great against Lava Hound um, and any other big unit. It also uh, beats Fireball or whatever. So if they waste on the Minion Horde, then you have this to play. Uh, it's got the Log just to deal chip damage to the uh, cr Crown Towers and also just deal with small troops. Uh, the Knight probably one of the most important ones since it's uh, one of the only tanks in the uh, deck. It comes in super, it's super important and it comes in really handy. And then also the Miner. Uh, Miner is really awesome, especially like when you just have a few, say a few skeletons left or uh, the minion horde was zapped, it can help keep those troops alive and make it even more of a threat so that the, uh, the defender has to defend it. Also, it's for split pushing with the three musketeers. Anyways, uh, just while I was going for my crown chest recently, I just went to, uh, I believe it was like 10 and two, or 10 and 3, but uh, one of the games I ended up disconnecting. This is where I stopped. I was using a different deck here. So it begins here. So I got 1, 2, uh, 1 loss. I believe that was the one I may have logged out on by accident. I got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9 wins and about 2.5 loss. We'll count the one where I disconnected as half. Uh, anyways, I'll just uh, quickly show you guys some of these replays and I'll explain to you how I use the deck uh, as we watch them. So this replay, I oh this was the replay where I actually killed the other guy and I, I thought he said good game so I thought he was just gonna let me take it but he kept pushing so it ended up being a bit closer than I thought. But anyways, uh, I'll start off with the Goblin Burial and then I'll defend his Miner with the Skeleton Army. I uh, uses the Ice Wizard to defend the uh, Goblin Barrel so now his Ice Wizard will also defend the Skeleton Army so I throw in a Miner to help defend it. And with the Miner's help, I'm able to take care of the Ice Wizard so it's not available for the counter push. Or sorry, there's, he survives on a sliver of health. And then I'll play the three Musketeers in the middle um, to deal with that Royal Giant. And one will start going off to the left, but she'll uh, stay to help out and uh, take care of some of those Skeletons. So she's just going to go on her own on her left. It's too late to put a Knight in front of her, so I put the Knight on the right side. Uh, luckily, he doesn't have a Fireball or anything else to fully take care of the three Musketeers. So he zaps them and puts minions, which wasn't the best move because they do survive. And then he just logs them back. So for a great push, got a ton of damage done on the right side and quite a bit on the left as well. So since I know he's low on Elixir, I throw in a Goblin Barrel just to finish off that tower. And he throws down another Ice Wizard to defend. Uh, knowing this, he's probably going to push with his Royal Giant. So predicting that, I play the Skeleton Army right on top of his Ice Wizard to deal with that and then also take care of the Royal Giant after. So now I'm just banking Alexer. Um, I know that mostly all he has to defend my uh, minion horde with is his witch. So I throw down the uh, minion horde and the miner. That's one of my favorite pushes actually with this deck. So I like to play the minion horde on the outside on whichever side. And then I like to play a miner on the inside of the tower. So that usually whenever they play uh, say a wizard, princess, uh, fire spirits, anything to defend it. Uh, the miner will soak up all the damage and the minion horde will absolutely decimate the tower. Even if they do play a fireball or an arrows, which is most of the time expected, it'll miss the uh, miner as well, so the miner will continue to do damage to the tower and unless he has to defend it. So it's just even more electric he has to wait to defend it. So at this point it's pretty much a good game. I'm just uh, kind of just going to give him the tower for his crown chest or whatever. And we're just going to play out the rest of this game until the game is over. I'll just quickly fast forward through this because none of this is really that important. Uh, yeah. But yeah, um, with the three Musketeers, it's always a good idea to split them. Um, 
if you know they have a rocket or a fireball, I wouldn't necessarily split them behind the uh, king tower back here. But um, sometimes if you're like higher in Alexa, I, I do. Uh, you'll see in these other replays actually what I mean. But let's jump into this one. Playing against Arrow. Uh, also, another, there's a bunch of combos actually that I like starting off with. One of them is just throwing the Goblin Barrel. Another one uh, that I use quite commonly actually is I play the Knight by the river and then I throw in the Goblin Barrel right as he's crossing so that uh, the Knight will tank for the Goblin Barrel. So if he doesn't zap him, the Goblin Barrel can absolutely destroy the tower. Um, so that's one of the great pushes I like. I like the Minion Horde with the uh, Miner. And if I don't have either of those options with me, I could just throw in a miner by itself, or I'll play the three musketeers in the very back and go uh, start myself up for a big push on both sides. So here, right now, it's really annoying, but uh, uh, the elite barbarians or mega barbarians, I forget what they're called, they're in almost every deck now. So it kind of hurts this deck if they have zap too, because then you play the uh, skeleton army, they zap it, it gets really tough. But you can also use the Knight plus the Fire Spears, or you can play the Three Musketeers like a bit farther back. Um, but yeah, this deck was like super powerful um, in all the other matters. This one, it's kind of lost a bit, but it still works really well. Um, you just gotta play it smart, and if they, if you know they have a Barbarian, the Elite Barbarians plus Zap, you just gotta be prepared for that, and uh, just yeah, be prepared and get ready to counter with something else as well. So here, uh, he throws a fireball at my three musketeers. As they're crossing the river, he doesn't expect them to, uh, uh, he expects his crown tower to be able to finish him off, but I throw in the miner to defend so the uh, musketeers can get a bunch more hits on his tower. But I, a bad placement on the miner on my part, he ends up uh, attacking the king tower instead and activating it, which doesn't matter really too much for this because my main attack is the three musketeers and they attack from a range, so it doesn't really affect them. But with the Goblin Barrel, it does, because then he is in range and being attacked by both. So a bit late on the log for him, so my Goblin Barrel does get a few hits on his tower. And also, I, I like the Three Musketeers too, to, to uh, defend against Furnace, because you can uh, defend on one side, put one Musketeer on one side, and then have the other two counterattack on the other side. So it's really useful for that. And another thing that makes this a deck really great, actually, is that a lot of people, a really common uh, way to take out Three Musketeers is Fireball plus Zap. So uh, when they use both of those, unless they have something else, it's really hard to defend against the Minion Horde, the Skeleton Army. So uh, I, just a few minutes ago, or a few seconds ago, you could have saw um, he Fireballed and then Zapped my Musketeer. So I was able to use my Skeleton Army to defend against his uh, incoming Elite Barbs, and there's nothing he could do to stop it. So another fairly easy game, barely got any hits on my tower. Uh, I believe the other ones are a bit closer. Uh, we'll take a look at those. One, two. We'll look at the one that I lost. This one was actually a really close one, and he had a really clutch freeze that ended up winning him the game. And also, if you think about it, uh, the three musketeers, there's three musketeers, and there's uh, it costs nine. So I mean, each, each uh, musketeer in that costs pretty much about three elixir rather than a usual four. One of the reasons I really like it because you get a really big discount on the Musketeers. But also, if they end up fireballing, zapping, or fireball log, or even a rocket, um, that costs them six Alexer to take out your six Alexers. So really, it's not a bad trade for you. It ends up kind of evening out. And also, um, Lightning too, if you play it. The only uh, downside is they might get some chip damage on your tower. But usually that doesn't matter too much. Um, usually you can just avoid that by playing the Musketeers higher up, closer to the middle of, uh, not behind your crown tower, but in front. And that usually solves the problem. So we're just going to keep playing here. Uh, both of us pretty low on Alexa, so we're just going to bank that. And, yep. But he does actually play his free for a while, so I'm not... I wasn't ready for it when he did, and it ended up, uh, I believe, you'll see near the end, but it comes in really clutch and ends up winning him the game, where I think I would have won if that freeze wasn't there. But really well played on his part. 
So here's an example. Uh, so I play my miner. I have a few minions left over. Usually all of them actually do survive. But so my minions do get a few hits on his mini P.E.K.K.A. and on his uh, tower. Really great for me. And he was a bit late on his zap and uh, so a few of my skeletons survived and I was able to take care of him before he could do too much damage. I believe, actually in this game I really kept rushing me so I wasn't even able to play my three musketeers for the longest time. So I finally get them down. Um, yeah. The freeze is actually pretty good for countering them because you can just freeze them while Crown Tower takes care of them. So I know he's going to want to take care of the two two musketeer side, so he freezes that side, so I push on the left side. Another big thing is if you know they have like the super hard counter to the three musketeers, then you split push them, two of them go one way, one goes the other. Usually they'll fireball or uh, fireball zap, fireball log or whatever, um, the two musketeer side. So knowing that, uh, just get ready to push the left side. And sometimes you don't even have to bother putting anything in front of the other side because they're just going to go to waste anyways. So anyways, that was one of the that was the big freeze for him. Ended up winning him the game. I was not ready for that. He barely had enough Alexa to play it too. But anyways, really well played on his part. And that was one of the losses. So we'll go check out uh, some of the other replays. Um, we'll quickly do this one. I think this one was really close to, I believe. Quickly go through this. Yeah, um, I also have some replays on my, uh, I have a second account, and I'll play some of those replays on there. I just got into Legendary Arena using this, uh, this deck, so I'll show you guys some of those if you're, if you still haven't reached Legendary Arena. It's really great, especially down there because um, some of the decks don't counter this one as well. So I've been playing against a lot of these like um, hog decks with um, Zap or Elite Barbs and Zap. It's really annoying because uh, Skeleton Army is one of the big counters to all that and then they can just zap it all away. So all you have to do then is make sure you either have enough Elixir for the Minion Horde or uh, Three Musketeers and then from there you can actually just counter push out from there and it's very difficult for them to defend. So here it's about even, he has a bit more damage down on my tower than he does. So it's a, I knew, knew he had the uh, giant skeleton, so he was going to play that on the two uh, musketeer sides, so I don't even bother trying to help defend them, I just push the right side instead. At this point I actually didn't play this one too smart, because I knew every time he would defend my uh, goblin barrel with the skeleton army. So if I were smart, I could have just uh, predicted that and then played a prediction log to take care of that. Uh, there, it was a bit too late, and it uh, barely has any health on his tower left, and could have won it, but he ends up taking it. And these ones, no, these are all the ones that I won. <laughs> so this guy has the fireball zap, or uh, combo, so I have to be careful with playing my three musketeers, but I still end up winning it because it wasn't that bad. So I start off with my push, uh, minion horde plus minor, ends up fireballing it, missing a few or one of the minions, so that just takes out the tombstone while my minor uh, continues to whack away at that tower. Ends up doing almost 400 damage, which is pretty good for three elixir. So this is a push I'm actually starting to see a lot more of, especially up here. It's the uh, Ice Golem plus the Balloon. It's really annoying. It's like a cheaper version of the Giant plus Balloon combo. Um, yeah. So anyways, I didn't know he had a Fireball, so I ended up committing too much on the side. But thankfully, it missed two of my Fire Spirits, so they get two hits on his tower. Really great for me. And we're just going to continue to build up Alexa here. Usually I don't like sitting at 10 elixir, so if anything I'll always just like throw a goblin barrel or miner or just play something behind my tower. I really hate uh, sitting at like 10 elixir and just having to wait there. I feel like it's a big waste, so I try to avoid doing it as much as possible. So here are my minions just clean up his uh, countered skeleton army. 
And now we play the waiting game. So since I have more Alexa than him, I'm just going to have to throw in a Miner. Um, don't want to waste that Alexa, so. Probably shouldn't have played it at the back, because then he just counters with the Tombstone. And then since I'm sitting at 10 Alexa again, I just throw down a Log. And get ready for his push. So he splits his archers, so I just play Knight at the back. And I'm getting ready to play my three Musketeers. So knowing I'd play the three Musketeers, he switches to the Fireball and gets them out of the and zap and uh, takes them out right away. So that was a big push for him. I believe his balloon got like two drops on my tower. So I try and avoid the third one by placing my minion horde and then counter with a minion horde minor push. Also, for the first time in the game, he played his Electro Wizard, which acted as a zap and took care of my minion horde. So now I gotta push the left side, so I just play down a Goblin Barrel. He ends up zapping it, so now I know I can actually play my Three Musketeers safely without having him fully take him out, because the Fireball will leave them with a bit of health. But instead, I'll play my Minion Horde instead, just to quickly take care of that balloon. So now I just have to get a bit more chip damage on his tower to finish it off. Uh, he plays his Fireball, so I throw in my Goblin Barrel. He tries to counter with the Tombstone, but it misses, and my Goblin Barrels finish off his tower. And that is good game. So um, there's a few more replays, so I'll just uh, play these and I'll just let you guys watch them. Uh, yeah, I'll, I won't do any talking, don't worry. And yeah, enjoy.
find the right words And there's no way this is real life There's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right It feels right, it feels right Yeah, I can only say that it feels right A doubt, felt like this is just a must. Put me in perspective, I'm the deepest in the cut. Everybody tuning in, but this is just for us now. We know I ain't ballin' yet. Hoes wanna holler, oh no, I don't call them back. Girl, let me see you hold it down, we gon' have a blast. Cause I just wanna know what you gonna do with all of that. Ain't gotta say a word. I know what's up, you can have it all, watch me rip it off I'll admit it, you got me feeling hella love Even when it's going down, know that we gon' live it up Young shot caller, always been a baller Know that you the one, I can feel it in my heart Yeah, I won't stop charging, you go and come harder I can see you and I, way beyond the stars, girl I can never ever find the right words And there's no way this is real life there's no telling you're the right girl So I can only say that it feels right It feels right It feels right
have a second account? <laughs> Thank you.